my gosh, guys, this is so amazing. I'm so glad we got snow. We never get a white Christmas at home. Well, well ahoy there, cruises, and welcome to Bright. I haven't got a clue where we are today. To the Black Forest. We're here today. We're so excited. We just got up nice and early at half seven because literally just woke up. Our itinerary leaves at half eight. It is a ten-hour itinerary completely included in the price of your cruise, which is fantastic. We just need to run up to get a lateral floor test because our clown of a government, <laughs> Boris Johnson, has yet again changed the rules. So we have to have a test again to enter the country. So he's okay having Christmas parties during lockdowns, but we've got to test about 50 times just to get back in our own country. He's an idiot, but that's another question. And then we're going to run up to get breakfast, aren't we? Yes, that's most go. important bit. Let's go. The COVID test was quick and easy and done by the ship's crew. We were soon off for breakfast. So welcome to breakfast on the Avalon Expression. Now, breakfast is really fantastic on the ship, but we've only seen it, I think this is the second time in basically five days because we're always late. But this morning we had to get up very early for our excursion to the Black Forest. Huge selection there, a big continental European section. I've got um, some croissants and cheese and ham. Very simple, very delicious, I love it. There's an omelette station where you can get fresh omelette. Lots of fruits and pastries, and then you've got your traditional American British breakfast, breakfast as well with hash browns and sausages and bacon and all, of, and all of that jazz, as well as loads of breads, lots of delicious breads to choose from. And finally, you've got some cereals as well. Comes with coffee, juices of your choice. But we've got about six minutes, because as you know, we leave everything very late, guys, because we had to go for that test. So I've got to chomp this down as quickly as possible so bon appetit uh but it was so late i didn't even have time to toast my bread mm -hmm. and i got a more traditional selection i went for the scrambled eggs baked beans we do love our baked beans and our breakfasts and some hash browns and like i said i was gonna get toast but there's no time there's no time to toast we've got to go guys we've got a full day excursion coming we should have got up earlier, really, David, shouldn't we? Yeah, we should but we were tired yesterday. To be fair, we did. But it took us a while to wake up, and then I looked at the clock and I says, my God, but it's ten past eight, eight, we've got to go. Long day, so we need uh, all the energy we can get. It's snowing! It's snowing! Oh, it's cold and it's oh, snowing! We made it. That was a quick breakfast, and it's snowing outside. How amazing is that? So off we go to the Black Forest on a very Christmassy day. So excited, so I think it's quite a long journey there. So I'm gonna have a little snooze and just chill out and relax. Really quiet coach, really modern coaches as well. They're really good. It's just a nice way to get around. Right, okay. So let's go. Oh my gosh, guys, it is so spectacular. We're driving very slowly because it's snowing quite a lot. Um, every car in Germany has to have snow tires, which is really good, but it's legitimately just Christmas personified. It's beautiful up here. We're climbing right up into the hills of the Black Forest. The Black Forest is 100 miles long by 40 miles wide. How crazy is that? Wow. My gosh, it's absolutely spectacular. I'm so happy that we came and did this excursion. So welcome to the Black Forest. Here we are. Oh my gosh, it is absolutely spectacular. We're right in the center of the Black Forest or as the locals like to call it, the heart of the Black Forest. Now you might be wondering why it's called the Black Forest. It's not because the trees are black, it's because the trees are so packed, densely close together. When you go into it, even on a bright sunny, sunny day in the summer, It'll be dark in there, it'll look like nighttime. Anyway, we are at an open air museum and we're gonna go into several different exhibitions. We're gonna see some straw things being made, some cuckoo clocks being made. We're gonna churn some butter and we're gonna visit some traditional houses. It's gonna be so much fun. And it's snowing, so it looks so Christmassy. I'm so excited, should we get going? Oh, I feel so Christmassy and wintry now. It's absolutely stunning. It is really beautiful and uh, so picturesque. It really reminds me of them Christmas cards that you get you know with like the wintry forest scene can't wait gonna explore lots while we're here in the forest and we're gonna end on a lovely uh, meal as well so looking forward to it it's gonna be another great day the drive here was spectacular not gonna lie though rather scary I mean some of them hairpin turns were really tight and with this snow and yeah it was pretty terrifying but our driver was he knew exactly what he was doing he was in safe hands he was commenting on how people were wearing the right tires and were wearing chains on their tires. Let's get going. Let's go and have a look at some of these open air exhibitions and 
how they make straw shoes and all sorts. You've got a red nose, have Rudolph. I? Rudolph. I don't know if it's the cold or the mask. It's very cold today. It might be a mix of the both. <laughs> wow, so we're in a house that's over 600 years old and it is freezing in here. Apparently only one room in the whole house, the room next to the kitchen, the dining room, had heat and it is so cold. It really wasn't made for tall people. Obviously times uh, 600 years ago, people were actually a lot shorter. Look at this. I'd bang my head on here, wouldn't I? Boom. <laughs> It's so cool to see this. Uh, especially with no lights. Yes, no lights as well because they didn't like open frames, uh, flames because they were so scared that these houses would uh, burn down. So it was really understandable. So they were very dark and very cold. Gosh, it was a hard existence, wasn't it? Long, hard winters here. While we're on our cruise ships with all unlimited buffets and four course meals, this is yeah. how people really used to live. It's so interesting to see. Yeah, absolutely. Shall we go upstairs? Let's have a look upstairs. <laughs> Again. Watch your heads. Watch your heads. Watch Duck. my head ducking. <laughs> These are all original houses. This one was originally on this plot, um, but the rest of them are all examples from all over the Black Forest and they've been painstakingly deconstructed, moved here and then reconstructed. Welcome to our cabin number one on the deck one. <laughs> it has all the, all the modern mod cons that you'd want. A pail of water and a bar of soap. What more do you want in life, you know? And very short beds. Yeah, really short beds. It's not exactly luxurious. Of course, they wouldn't have had electricity back then. So this is the kitchen area and one really awful thing is you can probably tell it's really, really dark and the walls are black and that's because of all the smoke that came from the, the stoves and the smoke would collect in here because they didn't want the smoke to leave the building as it actually kept the building incredibly dry so there was no chimneys, there was no ventilation and of course um, women, usually young women in their 20s would be working in here making five meals a day, inhaling all that smoke and Actually, the most the average woman only lived until the age of 20. So it's a really, really harsh existence, really. And like the, our tour guide said, the farmer would have to marry maybe five times, five or six times in his lifetime um, because the average age of his wife would only be up to the age of 20. Worst of all, if they died in the winter. Oh, yeah, so if the... Um, they were smoked. Absolutely. So if anybody did pass away in the winter, they couldn't bury them because the ground was solid frozen. They smoked the bodies right here above the kitchen. And kept them up there and preserved them until the spring when the ground was soft enough that they could actually bury the bodies. That's awful. Wow. <sighs> Hard life. Yeah, really tough. Oh my gosh, I feel so Christmassy, guys. I feel like I'm in a fairy tale castle. Not a castle, sorry, like a fairy tale, like with all the little thatched houses and the wooden houses. The thatched top roof is actually so thick, it's made of rye as well. Really impressive to think of the engineering and the ingenuity that they had all them years ago, and that these houses are still standing nearly 400 years later. It's incredible, really. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so amazing. I'm so glad we got snow. We never get a white Christmas at home. So this is just like making me like a giddy schoolgirl. Ah, it's absolutely wonderful out here. The air is clean. Oh, it's just so magical. We're having such an amazing time and I'm so glad we got to come to the Black Forest. It's somewhere that I always wanted to go and we're finally here. And what better time at Christmas during the snow as well. It feels so incredibly festive. Really, really feeling lucky right now. There's some times in your life when you think, wow, this is pretty damn awesome and this is one of them. I feel very happy and very, very lucky to be here right now, especially during the coronavirus times. We're incredibly lucky to be able to do this. We're so glad we can bring you along with us. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, I'm looking forward to our German lunch as well. Wonder what's gonna be on the, on the menu. I hope it includes sausages. It's been a few days since we've had some sausage. <laughs> it's cold, baby, it's cold outside. David, what are you doing? Just attending to my bush. Snip, snip. Can't take you anywhere. <laughs> this is just so magical. We don't tend to get much snow at home in Cambridge in the UK. 
So we've just seen some traditional hand-woven shoes being made, all made by hand. They take nearly 20 to 30 hours to make and they look so incredible. They look really comfortable, they're like house slippers and then they do an outdoor version as well and they're all hand-woven with hair. And then we also saw some of the traditional costumes from this region. It's been really interesting but now what we're going to do is head in and we're going to churn some butter which is going to be the starter for our dinner here at the Open Air Museum. Oh, it's done! <laughs> See, I was that strong. <laughs> one turn and it's done. David, should we try some of the butter you helped make? I did one turn on and it was done. It was. <laughs> Let's go and try some. It's quite easy, actually. Could do it at home. I'm going to put this butter on that we just made. Oh, my, oh, it's really thick. I'm going to have good butter. Oh, it looks good, David. I'm going to try my butter that I made. Well, I did one turn and it was done. It smells delicious. And the bread was freshly baked this morning. Oh, it's really nice, especially just like... Who thought bread and butter with chives would be so delicious? Really good. Oh, God. They used to bake 40 loaves every month and then store it for a month. Let's have a try. Love bread and butter. Milk a cow and call me Daisy. That is absolutely delicious. I am now so excited for lunch. I can't wait. She saw we liked it so much. She was about to bring out another basket of bread just for the two of us. We had another slice. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. Oh my God, that bread was delicious. Honestly, you can't breathe. Oh. You can't beat bread and butter with a little bit of salt. Oh, anyway, we're just heading over to the restaurant now, so we'll be back with you for more eating in just a second. Can't wait. Yum. Should we mosey? We're a little bit far behind because we had extra bread. Yeah. Right, we're, always late, we're always late ones. So we are here for our lunch, and it's such a beautiful building. All I can see outside is the snow, so it's so festive as well. Uh, we're going to have a drinks order, so we get our drinks included and our lunch included with the excursion as well, which is great. That's one of the great things about river cruising that we always say. Most of the excursions are included in the price, which is fantastic. Then there's a buffet lunch. Let's get started, I say. It's the most wonderful time for a beer. Cheers. I got a smorgasbord collection of uh, food for lunch. I got the fish with a nice little side of lasagna and some potatoes. Fish and lasagna obviously clearly go together. And we also got some of the goulash, which looks fantastic. And more bread to dip in. Should we tuck in, Ben? Let's tuck in. Mm, it's really nice. And the potatoes are lovely as well. Party, which is exactly what you want with the cold weather outside. Do you want to try yours now, Ben? Yes, and I obviously went for everything. A smorgasbord of absolutely everything. I've got chicken, noodles, potatoes, pretzel bread, of course, and some of that fresh butter. But I'm going to try the goulash soup first of all. It's getting rave reviews across the room, I can hear. So let's have a try. Oh, it feels so wintry in here. Lovely warm goulash soup while it's snowing outside. Just perfect, eh? That is delicious. Just what you want on a cold winter's day. I'm going to try some of the... Um, pretzel bread. Do you know what? I've just got such a thing for pretzel. I never used to eat, like, never really had pretzel bread until sort of like maybe three or four years ago. I have been missing out my whole life. It's lovely. Oh, that soup. It's to die for. Well, I guess a cow died for it, but it's really delicious. Everything's been really good. It's really nice to have something different. The noodles were delicious as well as the chicken and the gravy was sumptuous as well. And for dessert, we've got one of probably the most famous things known for Germany, and especially the Black Forest. We've got Black Forest cake, or Black Forest gâteau, as we know it back home. It's delicious, so it's like chocolate, cream, and cherries, or dark chocolate with cherries. Ooh, quick tip about keeping cake fresh. I've learned this really well. Just eat it really quick, then it always stays fresh. <coughs> That's got some booze in it. Has it? Oh, get me in there quick. Oh, that is absolutely tasty. It's got like a crust on the bottom as well, which I've never seen before. Oh, the cherries are really poppy and really sour, but the cream is really sweet and the cake's sweet. Can't buy happiness, but you can buy cake. You can leave while I um, devour the rest. Bye-bye.
So we've just been to the uh, cuckoo clock shop and we saw him how we, a quick demonstration of how they make the cuckoo clocks. They're all handcrafted here in Germany and they're all absolutely gorgeous. They, uh, the woodworker was doing some little uh, woodwork bits there and it looked absolutely stunning. And uh, they had lots and lots of cuckoo clocks on offer that you could buy and they were so pretty and so cute. I loved all of them. But now we're going to head back to the ship. But it's the perfect time. We're going to get back on the ship and then it's going to take us about two hours back to the ship. But it's a nice scenic drive. So we can get all Shall nice we and go, relaxed David? and just watch Germany go by. But it's nearly the end of our river cruise. I'm so upset. I know it's absolutely guttering. So this is a... This is our last excursion of the river cruise, unfortunately. We've had an amazing time. Um, now I've got to go back and pack. Boo. Oh, so we're back on the lovely warm coach. But what a wonderful day. We've had such a great time. It's always like the saddest part of the cruise, isn't it? When it's your, your last day and you've got to go back and pack. Nobody cooking for you. You're not going to be walking into your bathroom and all your towels are nice, nicely folded and washed. We've got to go back and do that ourselves now. But on the other hand, I'm really looking forward to getting home, spending time with some family. We're having a big Christmas uh, day gathering with all of our family, so we can't wait for that as well. It's windy. It's going to get blown up. Should we go have some cake? There's a breeze blowing. Yes. David, do you not hear what I said? Do you want some cake? There's cake? Some you want cake. more cake? It's afternoon tea. Oh, oh it's let's freezing. Go for afternoon tea. Oh, 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 oh. coffee and cake as it's known in Germany. Ah, so we're all back on the ship and it's really lovely. We've actually came back into the lounge because every day at 4pm there's an afternoon tea. And we haven't done this yet, surprisingly, because we've been off the ship most days afternoon tea. This is one of the biggest differences with ocean cruising. You spend very little time on the ship because you are always in port. That's the best thing. It's all there on your doorstep. The towns and the cities are right here. So why would you want to spend time on here? Beautiful as it is, absolutely gorgeous lounge with live music right now from the piano player and really beautiful surroundings. But yeah, it's the first time. There's a big selection of, of cakes and sandwiches. And today we have mulled wine as well, as well as tea and coffee. So I've got some macaroons. Uh, David's got another piece of black forest cake. So we shall Ooh, see who battle. wins. It's a battle of the black forest cakes. But I'm going to have one of my lovely macaroons, really fancy. It's just lovely and snuggly in here. All decorations everywhere. So we've got Christmas trees and it's just getting sunset -y as well. So one final afternoon on board which is such a shame but let's try the macaroon oh mm. orangey soft tasty beautiful oh just like me oh. i was literally just saying on the coach i was like oh I'd like a nice cup of mulled wine that'd be nice and actually we came into the ship and they had a nice big big pot of mulled wine how is it very David? similar to glue I think it is the same, isn't it, as Glugwein? Yes. Or have I just offended an entire country it's, there? It's basically the same yeah. thing. Oh, nice and spicy. I think it's not as sweet as Glugwein. Or oh, I've just ate so much sugar this week that um, I've, I've now got a high, a, tolerance. a high tolerance of sweet food. But it's the battle of the Black Forest ghettos. Will the OG in the Black Forest win? Or will the, uh, the cake on the boat win? Should we have a try? How is it? Very nice, but it doesn't beat the one in the Black Forest. Well, it's not going to, and it's is not it? going to, is it? It's not going to be, beat the proper traditional Black Forest cake. But good effort. Still very lovely. I'm still going to eat it. So now after this, we have to go pack and we've got lots of administration to do as well. The ship has been absolutely fantastic in keeping us up to date with all of the changes because there has been many. There's been changes hourly from all of the different countries. Mm -hmm. So we've had to have different types of tests that we didn't know we were going to have and the ship have organized everything. So don't worry if you're going to book a, a river ship cruise, you've got no problems, guys. They sorted out a PCR test, lateral flow tests didn't charge anybody anything so it's really fantastic so we've got to go get printouts of that from reception so we can fly home tomorrow and then we've just got to do a bit of packing but yeah it's it's coming to an end which is really sad now I'm, I'm sad to be getting off it feels like the quickest week ever doesn't it David yeah it does it really feels like I was just saying it feels like I've only just this is the first time we've actually sat in this lounge mm. and enjoyed it this whole time and it's the last day we have been so busy that I don't feel like I've really got into the ship yet need another week on board please that would be lovely but yeah it's been fantastic to see it at christmas i would highly recommend it because as we said we've done the rhine in the summer before i'd love to see it 
sun's restrictions as well because I bet oh, it's yeah. even better than it is currently. Definitely, but Europe and Germany and France and all the places we've been have dealt with it really well, really sensibly, and it hasn't really impeded our holiday at all. The only annoying thing is just having to wear a mask. And the amount of paperwork. Oh my God, wearing a mask outside, guys. I didn't notice because where we come from it's in, in the UK, isn't that cold, but here it's been freezing. And when you wear a mask, because of the condensation, your mask gets very wet very quickly. I know it's disgusting, but it's so true. It happens to everybody. There's lots of condensation. So you have to keep drying your mask every five minutes. You end minutes. up with a moist mask. Nobody likes a moist mask, do they? Well, I'm, guess, I'm guessing somebody in the world does, but certainly not us. No moist masks, please. Any cruise you're going on, top tip, take loads of disposable masks. Yeah, not we've run out already. Not only are they much more comfortable, you're going to need them because you'll want to change them a few throughout the day as well. So that's our highest tip at the moment. Mm -hmm. Lots of masks and lots of hand sanitizer. In most countries in the world, you can buy any old mask, especially in the Caribbean, the US, the UK, but here in Europe, it's quite specific on what type of mask you've got to have. So do make sure that you um, look into that before you go. Guys, why didn't we think of making a mask company or a hand sanitizer company a few years ago? We would why be- Why didn't we invest? We would be rolling in the cash right now if we owned that sort of company, wouldn't we? Imagine that person that invented the blooming swab for the COVID test. They must be blooming raking in it. Right, I'm gonna have another piece of my cake now. This was some German cake. I, I can't pronounce it, it began with a G. Mmm, very pleasant indeed. Looks a bit like a pound cake. It does look like a pound cake, or Madeira cake. It's got bits of chocolate in there as well. There's nothing better being so close to the water watching all of the lovely ships go by. Ah, <sighs> this is the life, isn't it? Oh, David, it's <coughs> that time again. Oh my gosh, this is the worst point of any cruise is the packing. I uh, hate it. If you don't know though guys, most cruise ships they've got huge space under the bed so we've just been storing our bags under the bed all week and we've just been throwing our dirty washing in there. So I don't think I'm going to fold this, I think I'm just going to zip it up. This is it guys, I usually let David do all the clothes packing and I pack all the equipment away because we have as much equipment than we do bloody clothes, don't we David? Absolutely and to be honest, Ben's all about the equipment and I don't trust myself with it because <laughs> I am butterfingers, but... We've got our tags. Uh, we've got our tags. We're in the yellow group. It's a massive group of the two of us, just me and Ben. So I should imagine we're getting a taxi transfer tomorrow then? Yeah, to the airport. Um, it's only the two of us. And we've got to get all these sweets, Ben, in this bag, like all the cake and... We've got lots of gifts and things and uh, Coca-Cola to drink and... We've got pie and... Pie? Pie? Cake? Cake. Is cake, is it? Yeah, so unfortunately somebody has to eat all of this cake and these sweets before we take them home because we ta can't take fresh uh, goods through, so... Oh, well, it's a hard life, isn't it? David's busy pack... Uh, David, what are you doing? What? I'm... That's not packing, that's drinking beer, my love. I'm really, really busy. I'm packing. Oh. Packing the calories in. Anyway, should we get this finished then? Nobody wants to watch us pack, do we? We just sling everything in our case. Mmm. I got myself a Christmas beer. Ooh, treat yourself. Is it nice? Actually, it's quite palatable. It's actually really, really nice. It tastes a little bit like Christmas. So I guess that's one way to get through the packing, drink through it. It sure is. Right, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my Christmas beer from Strasbourg. It's even got the little stalk on there that like they kept talking about. That's actually really nice. I'm really surprised. Right, let's get this done. Ugh. Stop putting off. Stop procrastinating. I hate packing, guys. Ah, so I guess that's it. We're all packed then. What a trip, David. End of a cruise and end of a year, Ben. It is. It's our last cruise of the year, but we do have some really exciting things coming up next year with loads of brand new cruises on brand new ships. So we can't wait to bring that to you, including a Caribbean cruise next, next month. So it's going to be nice to get some warmth, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah, it really is. I can't wait after this from one extreme to another, hot to cold. I just want to take this time though to thank every single one of you for all of your support this year. We hope that you have a wonderful, or if you had a wonderful holiday season, depending on when you watch this. And we wish you Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and best of wishes for the whole of 2022 to you and your family.
Absolutely, thank you so much for joining us on our adventure. We just ask for one thing, please, please hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. It helps us grow so much, guys. You don't know how much that helps us out. And a big, big thank you as well to all of our patrons. You guys are amazing. It's because of your support that we are able to keep this channel going and have been able to keep this channel going through everything that's been happening over the past two years. If you'd like to find out more about becoming a patron and to find out about all the benefits that you get in return, you can click the link in the description section below. So I guess that's it till next time. Happy cruising. Happy cruising.